How's it going, everybody? Brennan T. Adams here. I'm going live, and I'm actually going to be recording this for my podcast show as well. So for all of you that are watching this, you get a first take. This will be the show that goes out Thursday. I wanted to do a BTA Real Talk, and you know, I just wanted to talk about entrepreneurship, talk about some of the things I'm working on, talk about some of the things that I see from entrepreneurs I talk with on a daily basis, talk about the things that I see in marketing and all things that are going on, and talk about some of my best tips, some of the things I'm seeing through Think and Go Rich right now. Great book. I read it every single day. And uh, we're just going to have a little fun. I feel free to share this with anybody on their page. Share this. Comment with somebody that is going to need this. Uh, a person that may need this kind of uh, talk right now is somebody that needs some motivation, needs some education in entrepreneurship, needs to learn how to be able to do entrepreneurship full time, somebody that wants some entertainment, or somebody that just wants to watch BTA talk. Um, but feel free to share this out there, comment below any names, ask me questions as I go into this, and we're going to jump into it right now. So first off, just want to talk about... Um, some of the biggest mistakes that I see in entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurs, the mistakes that they make, and again, I make mistakes every day, but some of the big ones that I see for entrepreneurs, and they're common things, and they're honestly things that aren't even that difficult. Um, and the first one is, most entrepreneurs, what's up, Reed? How you doing, man? Um, hey, you just made it on my podcast show. You just made it on the podcast show, Reed Cox. What is up, brother? Shout out. Um, most entrepreneurs don't stretch themselves. They don't challenge themselves. They, you need to challenge yourself every single day. You need to do things out of your comfort zone. You know, I'm challenging entrepreneurs all the time. Anybody that's ever worked with me has been in either my masterminds or surrounds myself uh, or around me, I challenge them. I, do th I, I tell them to do things. I basically call their shit out because a lot of entrepreneurs, they don't do something. They make up some limitation or reason in their mind why they can't do it or right timing or whatever that bullshit is. And I call that out and I challenge people to do things that scare the hell out of them. And it's accountability. You need accountability. What's up, AJ? How you going? AJ Anderson, big shout out to you who is filming with us for Ambitious Adventures. Um, you're actually just going to make it on my podcast show that airs Thursday. Boom. What's up, man? Um, so yes, um, I challenge people because as human beings, we can only like push ourselves so much. We need somebody else out there to call our shit out and push us to do things even further. That's why you look at a Michael Phelps or you look at Mike Tyson, or I, I don't know why I said Mike Tyson, but you look at all these people that are athletes, boxers, swimmers, everything. They have a coach to push them beyond what they think is possible, to keep them disciplined. So you need somebody in your inner circle to discipline you. And where I see problems with entrepreneurs, the mistakes they make is one, they don't stress yourself enough. They don't challenge themselves every single day. You need to challenge yourself every day, set goals. I challenge myself every day. It was last week I challenged myself to create a course in an afternoon. I end up filming it, brainstorming it in four hours and 11 minutes. I challenged myself. Five days later, it was up, and it was selling. Uh, simple as that. Um, and again, it was just something I just want to prove myself that I could do it because I was in an atmosphere. I was with a group of people, actually, uh, in my mastermind group with somebody who was challenged. I challenged him to do a course, and I said, you know what? I'll show you that I can do it because I'm very competitive. Um, so the first one is, again, entrepreneurs don't challenge themselves enough, and they don't, they don't take their own advice. They don't get shit done. The next one is, they don't ask for the sale. So many people are afraid. I don't know what it is. They're scared to ask for the sale. If you got something off or sell that shit, like seriously, ask for the sale. Ask for $500. Ask for $1,000. Ask for $30,000. Ask for the money that you are worth. Where's your money out there? Somebody needs your services, so make sure they get them. It is your duty. It is your duty to ensure they work with you. And for me, that's how I look at things when I'm selling. I'm very persistent. It takes persistence and a burning desire to get that person to be with you and work with you. So for you, if you really believe in your product, make sure somebody takes you up on it. Sell it to them. Ask for the sale. Ask for the sale. Hashtag ask for the sale. Ask for the sale. So many people don't do it. I know it sounds simple. They just don't ask for the sale. Heck, some people, I ask them what they do and they tell me. I'm like, okay, how can I like work with you? How can I give you money? Like they don't even have a PayPal link ready. You got to have literally create the page, say what the product's going to be, sell it, and then make it. 
but at least have it where they can give you money, make it easy for people to give you money, and then from there, provide value, and then from that feedback, make a better product and charge more from it and use that testimonial. The next one is um, they don't clearly show what they offer. They don't show like, hey, like, what can I do for you? For me, here's, here's a great example. I do personal branding packages. I say, hey, for this personal branding package, you're going to get a day with me. We're going to film. We're going to film with you. You're going to get an episode for Live to Grind. We're going to take photos. We're going to build up throughout your social media. We're going to build th- uh, actual images with the, the quotes on it that you're going to get. You're going to have a whole landing page. We're going to create a whole website for you. We're going to sit down with you and we're going to do calls once a week for X amount of days. And here's the other deliverables you get. This is what you get for $15,000. Here it is. If you're interested, let's work together. Clearly laid it out. I said, here's what you get. Here's your deliverables. Here's your tangible items. Here's the value that you get in return for giving me cash. Clearly lay it out. What's up, Stephen De La Cruz? Big shout out to you. You've been on the podcast show before. For everybody who's going to be listening to this podcast show, check out that podcast show with Stephen De La Cruz. It is an awesome show. I really enjoyed it. The next one is Pure Grind. As you see on my shirt, it's all about the grind. It's about the grind. Hey, Stephen, what's up, Stephen? Uh, uh, persistence is always the name of the game. It is persistence. And I'm going to talk about it here in a bit. You have to be persistent. If you're a good seller, it's because you're persistent. You don't take no for an answer. And no, maybe no now, but it doesn't mean it's no later. Eventually down the road, it will turn into a yes. But it comes down to pure grind. So many people want the trophy. They want the end goal. They want the glorious things. But they don't want to do the things that are entailed for doing and getting that end result. They don't want to put in the work. They don't want to have to do in the hours. They want the sales and they want the money, but they don't want to reach out to 50 people a day every single day. They don't want to go door to door and knock on and get rejected. They're not willing to do it. You know what? If you're not willing to do it, you're not going to get the end results. You have to be willing to risk it all. You have to be willing to be all in. Burn that ship. Love you too, Stephen. Love you, brother. Burn that ship and don't look back. Go straight ahead. Here's, if you're going to start a business right now, if you want to become an entrepreneur, the first question is, what do you want in life? I want you to soul search and think about what do you want in life? What do you enjoy to do? And I, Jeff Hoffman always says this. He, he said, figure out what your passion is, what you love to do, and figure a way to have people pay you doing it. Build a business around it. That's how he built Priceline. He loved traveling. He built Priceline.com. He traveled the world, turned into a huge company, and helped make him into a self-made billionaire because he did what he loved, and he found a way to make money doing it. So what do you love to do? First off, what do you love? What's up, Greg Walker? Shout out to you. You just made it on my podcast, so live the grind. Boom. What do you love to do? What do you enjoy to do? Figure out a way to make money doing it. Sometimes along the way, you have to do things that you don't love so much, but it helps you so you can do more of the things that you love. So figure out what you love to do, and then the next one, get paid to do it. Create that PayPal link. Create a landing page. Here's what you get. You get the the first thing you're going to offer when you're starting out. You're going to have to give more value than what you normally have to give. Um, You actually got to give way more value. Uh, Hey, you get five calls of me, and you get uh, a course, and you get this for like 200 bucks. And then after you get that experience, you get paid once. You can you can scale that charge. Five times more, ten times more, take that testimonial, scale it, and go further. Uh, But again, it comes down to actually figuring out what you love to do, figuring out how to get paid doing it. Here's a great example. I'm just going to actually talk to somebody earlier who just joined our, shout out to Chelsea, who just joined our mastermind, six-month mastermind that we're doing here. It's launching soon. I'm so stoked about it. But uh, she, she, we're talking, we're talking about different packages. I said, this is what you need to do. You gotta have your beginner package. You gotta have your intermediate intermediate package. You have to have your advanced package. The first one could be, I'm just throwing this one out there, could be a $497, $497 product, and we could offer as a course, your four modules, and maybe a, a one hour consultation with you, which you're giving them value, you're building trust to them. And with that one hour consultation, that means you're building trust to them where you could potentially upsell them to a higher end product. They go through that product. The next thing is going to the next product. And maybe we're talking a $2,000 product. And what that consists of is really getting more value, stacking it, but maybe more access to you. Again, at the beginning, you're going to have to do more consulting to before you get your name out. Get more access to you, maybe in group calls, give them some deliverables. And then the next step, 
They buy that, they like that. The next thing is, okay, let's uh, let's do something even more. You want more access to me? We're gonna create a $25,000 product where I'm gonna come spend an entire day with you. I'm gonna give you my best secrets. I'm gonna create this deliverable, this deliverable, and I'm gonna talk to you once a week for the next three months. There you go, I created your packages. One, two, three, that was a 497, that was a 2000, and that was a $25,000 package. Usually you don't jump up that quick, but um, you can it when you get to that point. So create three different levels, do your beginner, and you know, this is great, this is when I was at Ty Lopez's place, and I love, so many people reached out to me. When I was live at Ty Lopez's place, I had 65,000 people live on YouTube and Periscope at the time. 65,000 people live. I had people every single week saying, oh, I saw you at Ty Lopez's. Also, I'm in Ty Lopez's video vault. And when I, when I was there filming this, and by the way, don't tell Ty, but when we're sitting there doing the interview, in his house, he has a pool in the middle, a fish pool, little fish tank thing, and I actually hit the, the table and five of his books landed in the water and they were soaked. Sorry, Ty, I, I apologize. I just told the world about that now. Um, but anyways, I was getting interviewed by the person I worked with, Elizabeth, and she said, we need to create three videos. It's for 67 steps video vault. The first one will be for the beginner version. The next one will be for the intermediate. The next one will be for the advanced. And all you gotta do is basically the first video, give them some good advice. The second one, give them a little more. And then the third one, give them all you got. I created them three video versions. That was basically for them three different versions of crowdfunding advice. They use it, they sell it, and people still come up to me today. They're like, hey, I saw your crowdfunding stuff and Ty Lopez's 67 steps. Awesome, Ty's using my knowledge and he can uh, use it all he wants and people can come to me later. But anyways, that was how I structured it. Beginning, intermediate, advanced. Um, so again, uh, I don't know where I was going with that. The next thing I was gonna talk about is, uh, it never is perfect. It's never perfect. So many people, they want the perfect name. They want the logo. The website's gotta be just right. The offer, how it looks. Fuck that noise. Like honestly, it doesn't have to be perfect. If it's perfect, you launch too late. Heck, some of my businesses, it took me, before I even had a logo, like I was already bringing in money. Like I was bringing in a lot of money before I even had the structured panel plan. I created an offer, I put up a PayPal link, they paid me, and then I created the product. Stop thinking so much into the details. If you were thinking how it's gotta be perfect, you're never gonna launch, six months is gonna go by, and you're like, oh, I didn't get anywhere. You know what I do? Here's a great example, here's a great example. Last week, I was driving back from, I was driving back from uh, Iowa, I was uh, home for the weekend, Samantha and I, and I was listening to six hours of thinking to rich. I was on the mastermind principle. You know, I, I, I just transitioned, my accelerator is actually done now, um, and I, I transitioned, and now I was listening to thinking to rich, I'm like, what, what am I going to do? I need the mastermind group in some way. I said, you know, I'm going to create a six-month mastermind. I told my team. Within 24 hours, we had the page up. Within five days, we already had seven people into the group. We're limited to 10. And I did that because I made a decision. We ran with it. Literally, we planned out the three weekends. We planned out the weekly calls. Within, here's a good one. We, it, here's the power of your network and your net group. Within five hours, I reached out to my influencer friends. I got, within five hours, John Lee Dumas, Kevin Harrington, Joel Kahn, um, Joel Franco, Amanda Bowen. I got them committed to, to speak to the mastermind group within five hours because I had built up relationships with them and I acted. I didn't like screw around. Like I just said, hey, will you, will you do this? And they said yes. And I created out the weekends and there we go. We have a product and now we're at the last point. Like it's gonna be filled here in the next few days and we have our 10 people. And it's an investment to be in the group. I mean, it's, it is an investment. You have to make a decent amount of money to even get in the program. But uh, we close that. And it's, it's actually $10,000. $10,000 or payments you can do $2,000 a month for six months. And that program, we close in less than a week because I acted on it. And I showed the value and what they got in return, which is 10x that, what they're going to invest. It's all about action, not fucking around and getting shit done. I'm telling you real how it is. People can disagree with me. You can sit around and think about how it's gotta be just right. Screw that, I'll figure it out. I've always figured it out. So offer value, 
make a decision, make decisions every single day, and you're going to make mistakes. I know I make mistakes all the time, but when you're making the mistakes, that means you're at least making decisions. And then over time, you'll make less mistakes. And also, that's why you surround yourself with the right kind of people. Surround yourself with people that have done things before you. Learn from your mentors. Learn from people that have done a lot. I mean, talking, looking at my mentors who have built huge companies and have made many mistakes, they share with me the things they did wrong and then the things they did right. And sometimes I have to pay to get in these mastermind groups. I have to pay for these mentors. But you know what? They deserve that. I pay them, but they're saving me tens of thousands of dollars or more because I'm not going down the route that they did years down the road that went down the wrong way, went down an alley. So learn from people that have been before you. AJ Anderson, there shall start my business as a freshman in high school. I had to follow his exact advice. Yes, you acted, man. You acted. So let's go into it. I'm going into Think and Go Rich right now. If you're watching this um, Facebook Live, which is in our podcast show, if you're watching this, you can go to our notes at livetogrind.com when this is out on Thursday, and you can actually see uh, the, the video I'm doing here, but I'm showing you the book Think and Go Rich by Napoleon Hill, going through some of the principles here, and uh, for the principles, I, I'm just going to cover on some of them. These principles, everybody should live off of. They should use this in their life every single day, and the first one is desire. You have to have, and you can see in my face, I know you can, you can see it on things I work on, you have to have a burning desire. You have to have a burning desire deep down inside that you want to go out and get it. You want it. Nothing's going to stop you. This is my end goal. Here's where I'm going to go. I am not stopping until I get it. The only way I'm going to get stopped is unless somebody stops me and tries to take me down and shoots me. They're not going to shoot me. I have a bulletproof vest. I don't, but I do. No one will stop me. you got to have a burning desire to succeed. You have to have a burning desire to do whatever it takes to get what you want. And when you mix desire and then faith, you have to have faith. You have to have faith in what you do. If you don't believe in yourself, how are others going to believe in you? I have a lot of confidence. And sometimes we're like, oh, you're so overconfident. You have your, it's ignorance. No, I would much rather be confident than be somebody that's insecure and is not certain on their possibilities. Because when you're confident, People attract to that shit. They attract to your confidence. They attract to your ability to know you can do what you say you're going to do. It's convincing your mind. Once your mind conceives it and believes it inside, it does it. Whatever your mind conceives and believes, your mind achieves. So thinking you can do something, knowing you can do something, having the faith towards it, and then it happens. It becomes your reality. So when I say I'm going to do something, I say this is going to happen. I'm, there's no other option, then I make sure it happens. And when you mix that desire, that faith, and that persistence, and that specialized knowledge, and coordination to one goal, nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you. Going into specialized knowledge, we all have knowledge in some area. The problem is you can be a genius, but not know how to direct that knowledge in a way to make you money, or actually use the knowledge in a way that does something for you. Um, yeah, Greg Walker. Better to do it and suck than not do it at all. Shout out to Greg Walker again. Hey, Greg, you just made the podcast show again. Awesome. Um, but seriously, like taking your knowledge that you have and directing it towards an uh, area you want to go, but also when you have a mastermind group, when you have a team, you take that specialized knowledge in certain fields and you direct it together and put it that energy towards one common goal in mind and make it happen. Again, I am... I haven't touched click funnels. We do click funnels. We do Facebook ads. We got ads going out right now. We got email campaigns. I, I've never uh, done a, a click. I've never touched click funnels in my life. I don't know how to create that kind of stuff. Um, I I don't really do much video editing. I do some. Um, I don't write as many. Like I write emails personally, but like for some of our email blasts that we put out, um, that we're putting our Friday newsletter stuff, like. That wasn't all created by me. I'm not like the expert writer. Um, and like I could go on and on and on. All the things that I I don't know how to do. But the thing is, I do what I'm, I do best. Doing what I'm doing right now. I'm talking to you. I'm creating content. I'm entertaining. I'm full of energy. I speak. Create podcast shows. I, I create videos. I go out and make business deals. I build relationships. I sell. That's what I do. The other stuff, I have other people that have the expertise in that area that I can work together with them to direct to do that. Do what you know and what you don't know. 
have the experts do. Have the experts do. Karina, shout out to Karina who's actually in my Influencer Academy. I'll be talking to you tomorrow night on our call. And amen, you said amen to Greg. I don't know if Greg Roulette here. Shout out to my brother from another mother, Greg Roulette for Ambitious Adventures. We're excited that's coming out here in July. Ambitious Adventures is airing, baby. Uh, so I'm talking about specialized knowledge. Go in the next one, organized planning. You gotta have an organized plan. You gotta have an organized plan. You know, there's a story in Thinking Your Rich where a man, he acquired a million dollars in seven days. He knew what he wanted. He had an organized sound plan. He'd already had his mind made up that he was going to get it. He gave a, a speech to an audience. He said, if I had a million dollars, this is what I would do. This is what I would create. He had a sound plan. When he got done with that presentation, a man went up to him and said, you know, I believe you'll do what you say you'll do with that million dollars. Come over to my office tomorrow and I'll write you a check for that million dollars. He wrote him that check and that man obtained one million dollars in a week's time. Because he had the burning desire to do it, he had faith, he had his mind made up that he was going to do it and he had a strategic sound plan, an organized plan to get to where he wanted to go. So for you, if you're not getting the results you want, maybe your plan isn't organized enough. Maybe it's not strategic. Maybe it's not sound enough to get to where you want to go. You have to have a written out plan exactly how you're going to do it. People throw around like, hey, do you want to make a million dollars? Like Grant Cardone has a millionaire booklet. He shows you like 10 different ways you can make a million dollars. Okay? You're going to sell X amount of courses at this price by this amount of time. That gets you to millionaire. Like think about the actual specifics you have to do. And all it comes down to think about what product you're going to offer. Think about how much that price is going to be and think about how many times you got to sell at that price to equal your million dollar point that you want to hit. Simple as that. For any goal, you got to be very specific. If you're not specific, you're not going to get the results you want. Write them down. Repeat them day after day. Make it part of your subconscious mind, which we'll go into more later, and make it a habit. Make it become who you are. My name is Brian C. Adams. I am successful. I will achieve this. I will obtain this. This is who I am. It's convincing my mind that I can do it. The next one, persistence. I'm very persistent. I'm very persistent. Ask, ask uh, my, my, uh, my girlfriend, Samantha, persistence when even before we dated, persistence to be able to, to get her and the persistence to be able to, to get the things I want in life. I don't stop until I get it. I don't stop until I get it. Sometimes it takes months. It takes so much time. But you can't get, beat somebody that never quits. A winner never quits. And a quitter never wins. Think about that. A winner never quits, which is me. I never quit. And a quitter never wins. If you quit, you will never win. Stop quitting. Always be winning. If you keep going at something, you know, you can get your obstacle. There's going to be obstacles along the way. You can get to your end goal, that is. You can get to your end goal. If you keep going, if you keep going and use that desire, that faith, and that persistence, and that belief in yourself, and if you never stop, you're going to get to where you want to go. Thomas Edison, he failed 10,000 times before he invented the light bulb. Every time that he failed, he said he wrote down another way that it won't work. It got him that much closer to the way that it worked. 10,000 times. What's up? Shout out to Bryce Clark. What is up, man? I know you're in Florida right now. Bryce was in my accelerator program. Another brother from another mother doing some great things. I'm excited to catch up with you soon, man. We need to talk. Um, you just made it on my podcast show, by the way. This is going live Thursday. But it comes down to your persistence and, and wanting something. You're going to get it. You can't beat somebody that never quits. And I can see it in somebody's eyes. I have so many people reach out to me. I have people reach out by email. I have people reach out by, and this is kind of fun, by the way. I have people reach out by email. They reach out by messenger. And they ask for my advice. They jump on a call. They ask for all these different things. And I want to see how persistent they are. And what happens most times is if they reach out after seven times of reaching out and no response or some kind of like response, I'm more than likely, and here's a trick to you. If you reach out to me like seven times, I'm more likely to do a call with you. I once had somebody reach out to come on my podcast show. They reached out seven times. No response, no response, no response. The eighth time, I replied back 
And I said, most sales are done between the seventh and 19th time you approach somebody. I'm very happy with your persistence. Because of this, I will have the person you're pitching to me on my show. They got on my show because they were persistent. Because they were driven. Most people, here's the thing. Most people say no. They hear no. And they stop. And we're all guilty of it. What happens is they're, they're pitching something to somebody. And people say it's not the right time. I don't got the money. That's fucking bullshit, by the way. I don't get the money, but you're going to go to Starbucks and spend 10 bucks every day. You're going to go to the movies. You're going to go drinking all weekend. But you got, the, you got no money. Yeah, please. Bullshit. Here's the deal. You're going to hear no a lot. You're going to hear no so many times. Stephen Christopher. Yeah. Shout out to Stephen Christopher. That was the story. He actually came on my show. Um, great podcast show. If you want to check that one out on livetogrind.com as well. But uh, you're going to hear no so many times. You have to learn to take rejection. I've done door-to-door sales. I've done fundraising. I've done reach outs. I've done person to person. I've had people say, you're stupid. You're not gonna succeed. I don't want what you're offering. They'll make shit out of me because I'm selling or I'm doing a video. They'll basically, they'll mock me. Be ready for a rejection. And your glory will come one day. And when you just smile, and they look at you and they want to work with you. Or they want to be your friend. Persistence, persistence, persistence. And be willing to hear no. You're going to hear no a lot. And most sales that I do, I hear no three or four times before I get a yes. Because they just don't realize yet that they really need what you're offering. Take them no's and turn it into a yes. And also coming for Ryan Stuman, who was on my podcast show as well. This is like a show talking about all the shows that we've done, like going back in time. Ryan Stuman says, the person that talks the least always wins. The person that talks the most loses, or in that case, buys. When you're on the phone, when you're talking to somebody, listen. Listen. The more you listen, you can see where you can help them. Um, Make know your vitamin. Greg Walker, I love that one. Make know your vitamin. Drop the mic. He made another appearance on the show. Go, Greg Walker. But seriously, make it your duty to ensure people say yes. People are going to say no all the time. It comes down to persistence and knowing when you know, when you know that you have something valuable given. Every single one of you listening right now, you do have something value to give. It is your duty as a human being, an entrepreneur in person, to ensure somebody takes you up on it, whether you're going to give a keynote, or you're doing consulting, or you're selling a mastermind, or you have a marketing package, or you deliver a certain product, or whatever it is you do, it is your duty that somebody takes you up on your offer. Because what you say to them is this, it's my duty to ensure you work with me, and you're going to thank me six months from now. Six months from down the road, you're gonna say, Brandon, thank you for Making sure I work with you is the best decision I ever made. Make sure they say yes. Because think of it this way. If they say no, and they go live their life, and they, knowing that they didn't work with you and they're not living their life to the fullest, you let them down. You let them down for letting them not take you up on your offer. Don't let them down. Because not only are you letting them down, you're letting their family down. You're letting their kids down. You're letting their future down. If you have something of value to give and you know somebody needs it, it is your duty to ensure they buy from you. It's your duty. And there's some instances where, you know what, they're, they're, it's not the right product for them. But the ones that you know it's right for them, it is your duty. And I have a couple people right now, like I'm in this process where they're in the know, they're in the on the fence, they're in the decision process. But I won't stop because I know they can get a lot of help from me and their life will be changed. So it is my duty, my duty to ensure they work with me so I can ensure I can change their life in a positive way. Think about that when you're knocking on your next door. Think about that the next time you send out an email. Think about that the next time you get on a Skype call. Think about that every time you ask for a sale. Think this, my offering will change their life and help them. It's my duty to ensure they work with me. Have that mindset. You will convert more sales, you'll get more opportunities, and you'll make more money. 
First start by asking for the sale and then being persistent on it. The next one from Think and Go Rich, the power of the mastermind. I love it. When two or more people work together in perfect harmony towards a common goal, it is proven when you take one battery and you have it by yourself, by itself, it'll only have so much energy. But when you take one battery and put it up to two other batteries and put them together, the power combined is more powerful. The same goes for human minds. One mind can only do so much on itself, but when you bring three or four or ten minds together, the synergy between them, the ether, and the, the knowledge that they have in collaboration can go much farther than the one individual themselves. And the, the, the problem that entrepreneurs have is they try to do it themselves. They try to do it themselves. Simple as that. They try to do everything themselves. You can't do it all yourself. I've tried doing everything. I remember working corporate while doing selling real estate on the weekends and, and working with Arctic Stick and doing wheeling and dealing, doing 110, 15 hours a week. Yeah, yeah, 150. I was sleeping like four hours a night. I had no life. It mentally killed me. And I tried doing it myself. Ultimately, shot me down. You can't do it all yourself. You need a team around you. You need the, it's the power of the mastermind. It's the power of the team that can help you and go together to work in perfect harmony towards your common goals together. It's like people want to work with me, jump on the BTA train. The train's going to the top. You want to join the BTA train? That's where we're going. Work together as a team. So next thing I want to go into, subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind. It's what you, it becomes a part of you. And this is through affirmations. Every single day I do affirmations. I am successful. I am wealthy. I am rich. I am great on camera. I am very influential. I will obtain this. I will impact one billion lives in a positive way. I will do this. I will do that. This is who I am. I am Brandon T. Adams and I am successful and no one will stop me. I am the top influencer of the millennials. Whatever my mind conceives and believes, my mind achieves every single day. Prepare yourself to go to battle. Prepare yourself for the no's. Prepare yourself for those deals that don't go through. Prepare yourself for the deals that go south. Prepare yourself for the things that don't go right because a lot of shit's going to hit the fan. It ain't just flowers out there. Shit's going to hit the fan and be ready for it. And when it comes at you, take it on and keep going forward. Go through it like a brick wall and be like, I'm ready for more. Bring it. Take it forward and keep going. When you build up your, your, your knowledge, you build up your, your mind in the point where it's confidence and it's, your subconscious mind already knows you can succeed, nothing will ever stop you. And when you do have temporary failures, you know it's just a part of the journey. It's just a part of the journey of to where you're going. I've had enough. I've had so many different failures, so many different experiences that sucked tempor temporarily, but I always knew it was making me stronger. It was a challenge that I was willing to take, and I always knew that I would overcome it. Nothing could stop me. Nothing could stop me if I just kept going. Nothing could take me down. So think about that for yourself. You're going to see a lot of obstacles. And then going into technical things. For, for doing anything, kind of sales or marketing or building your brand, becoming an influencer, or just anything in general, you need to create consistent content. You have to add value. Simple as that. Add constant value. Be consistent with it. For me, I'm creating Facebook Lives here. I'm creating videos. I'm doing posts. I'm doing Instagram stories. I'm doing Snapchats, as you know. Um, I'm doing, I'm doing uh, Instagram posts. I'm doing a podcast show every Tuesday, Thursday. I have a daily text system. You can text my name, Brandon, to the number 313131. 31 31. You can get daily texts from me, creating value in that way. Uh, I'm sending out daily emails to people to let them know what I'm doing. Um, I'm sending out Facebook messages. One of the powerful things I've been doing lately is uh, sending Facebook messages out and just seeing what people are up to, seeing how, how they're doing and what they're working on. And, and sometimes that leads to just... Learn something from somebody, you're talking to an old friend, or sometimes it learns, actually leads to a sale. It leads to another opportunity because I put myself out there. Try this. Try this. Reach out to 25 people a day on your Facebook, whether they're friends, they're people that are your Facebook friends, and talk to them. If you don't know them, say this. 
hey, I'm reaching out to more people on the Facebook network. Tell me more about what you do. I'm just curious. Um, or if you do know them, hey, how's it going, buddy? Um, what's new with you? I I've been working on this. How you doing? Let them talk. Um, if there's somebody you've been talking to for a while, hey, buddy, here's some things I've been working on. Any way I can help you at this time? Spark conversation. Let them talk, and eventually they'll ask what you're up to. And then you tell them what you're up to. Who knows? What you're up to might be something that intrigues them where they want to take you up on an offer that you have because they need it. Reach out to 25 people a day. Do that every day for 30 days. See what your results are. I promise you if you do that, I guarantee you, you will get multiple sales and you will make enough money from doing that that will, if you're working a 9 to 5 and you're, you're doing that as a side gig, enough money that would give you enough to live off of. Or it'd give you a point where you have a self-sustaining business. The problem is, this is so simple. You're like, Brandon, this is probably simple. Well, duh, why would I do that then? Because you don't do it. Reach out to 25 people a day. Do it. Simple as that. Reach out to 25 people a day, ask for a sale. Or have a conversation. Let me know after 30 days how that results. Message me. Let me know how it, how it results. I guarantee you, you make some money from it. I promise you that. Ask for the sale. If you throw enough darts, you're eventually going to hit a bullseye. You ask for enough sales, you're eventually going to get some yeses. And the next thing is becoming omnipresent. Omnipresent is being seen everywhere. Every week I go on podcast shows. People hear me from a show I was on. Every week I create podcast shows. Somebody might have heard me on a podcast show I have. I'm always creating uh, content. I'm putting out these videos. I'm putting out these posts. I'm doing the text system. I have ads going out, Facebook videos. I have so much content going out on a regular basis being consistent. People are seeing me everywhere. I'm popping up everywhere and I've become omnipresent. And then they know me because when I'm in their minds and they need a service and they think of me, they're going to go to me, especially when I add value to them on a regular basis. If you're not in front of your customer's face, somebody else is. You want to be on top in your field? Make sure you're putting yourself out there on a regular basis, on a daily basis, being consistent. Be consistent over a period of time and you're going to see results in your business. You're going to have success. You're going to make more money. I just dropped a lot of stuff with you. Um, just some value bombs and you know, here's the thing. Just be you. Be who you are. You don't have to try to be somebody else. Be who you are. Obviously, I'm clearly who I am. I cuss. I, I, I do what I want. I say things and I, it's not always right. I just, it's who I am. You know, if somebody doesn't like it, that's fine. Don't listen to me. Don't watch my content. But if you do like it, awesome. Follow me and reach out. Let's communicate. So just be you and do fun shit every single day. Do things that scare you. Do things that scare the hell out of you. Because when you do things that scare you, you grow. Stretch yourself. In the back of your mind, and this is one thing I've always done, when I have opportunity and somewhat part of me says, ah, I think of the ways, because we're, our mind is like, we go to negative. It always goes to negative of things. I don't know why it is, but you think, oh, that's going to cost too much money to do that, or I got to go all the way there. It's going to be out of my comfort zone. If that happens, that's a sign to say, I'm going to do it. And what's happened to me is every time that happens to me now, for me, I've mentally told myself I've had the habit to say, screw it, I'm going to do it. Simple as that. Screw it, I'm going to do it. I'll say that. Screw it, I'm going to do it. Screw it, I'm going to do it. Just do it. Simple, just do it. You do not want to wake up one day, look back in your life, and say, what if? What if I would have did that? What if I would have left my corporate job to start my adventure? What if I would have took that trip? What if I would have went into Brandon's six-month mastermind? What if I would have took the opportunity? What if? Well, one day it might be too late. Don't what if. Just fucking do it. Do it. Otherwise, you're always going to be living a what if life. I've allowed myself to be in a position where I'm always just doing it. Getting shit done. Creating awesome results. Building possibilities creating content, helping more people, and enjoying what I do and living a very fulfilled life. So for you, everything I've went through, challenge yourself every day, ask for that sale, become omnipresent online, don't be afraid, don't care what people think, do what you think is best for you, jump right in, and don't be the what if. 
I hope you enjoyed this show. I hope you enjoyed this Facebook Live. For any of you, right now I'm looking for three people. I have seven spots filled. I have three more spots for my mastermind. And you can check out the details at livetogrind.com forward slash mastermind. It's a high-level mastermind, six months, three weekend trips. I'm actually doing one this month in uh, Orlando, Florida for three days. And then in August in my woods in Iowa. Actually, you get to come to my hometown. And then the last one is December in California. We have speakers such as Kevin Harrington, um, John Lee Dumas, Joel Com, Joel Franco, um, Amanda Bolin, and some other secret speakers coming in every weekend. It's going to be a game-changing experience. And if you're interested in this, I challenge you. Don't be the person who says, what if? Reach out to me. I'm looking for one for a real estate agent or investor. Um, I'm looking for somebody that has a unique industry to be in the group. I'm looking for motivated people that are willing to invest in themselves but be committed to create something bigger. And if you're looking to do something that scares the hell out of you, if you're looking to grow and if you're looking for BTA to say, hey, get your shit done, call your shit out and be like, hey, you're going to do this, then apply. It's live grindcom forward slash mastermind. That's all I got for tonight. And to end on this, as you all know, I urge you all to go out there. Don't be a fucking what if -er. Go out there, create something great, and become unforgettable. Because life is too short not to. I'm Brendan C. Adams. Have a great day, everyone.